Hello everyone, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I have another Marketplace video share for you today. These are from returning artist Carla McDonald. Always, always love her work. It is such an honor to be able to share it with you. So let's get right into it. Quick note, if you're not familiar with the Marketplace, it is an online consignment shop that I host on my website. Um, I do all the marketing and everything that needs to be done to sell your journals. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, send me a message on Facebook or Etsy. Before you get started watching all of this, if you could consider giving this video a thumbs up or subscribe, if you like anything you see along the way, it would mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. Let's start off with a bird journal. One thing that Carla does um, that is extremely beautiful, unique, and interesting is she hand makes all her books. Um, she's not just doing the simple covers that I like to do. Um, she's not just repurposing used books. Most of her covers are all hand created and hand made, which is quite a feat. I've done it myself. It is not for the faint of heart and her, her work is incredible. So this one is called Bird. It's six by nine with a three inch spine. Take a look at those ridges covered with this fabric, the beautiful distressing. Three inch spine is hard to do and keep it this sturdy. This is really, really tough and sturdy. This book is going to hold up and be an heirloom. There are six signatures. Look at those signatures. Look at the cheesecloth. 264 pages. She used ephemera from my shop as well as Nick the booksmith. And of course, um, her style is a definite nod to Nick. Nick is the queen of bookbinding when it comes to junk journals, in my opinion. So here is the cover, and it has a little doorknob with an elastic closure. This is all collage. So we're going to... Oh, and the back is also collaged. Isn't that beautiful? I love this cardstock. Um, I've had some of it myself. So let's get right into the middle of it. Um, we have a pocket here in the front with a bookmark and some journal cards and ephemera. There's also an Edith Holden page tucked in the front that you can use. These pages are beautiful. One of the things that I always loved when I used to watch a lot of Nick the Booksmith flip throughs back when she did mostly journal flip throughs was I loved just all the different papers as the pages flipped and I get that same feeling here. It is just wonderful to see the different pages, how they flow together, the coffee dyeing techniques, and then you get these little sparks and pops of ephemera and color. Just the setup. A well set up journal does not need ephemera clipped on every page. I have to remind myself that all the time. These are from my ephemera pack called Fly Free. So if you click on my shop and you type in Fly Free, this will come up if you're interested in that at all. Um, they're all bird themed. There's 45 images. So yes, I have to remind myself that a gorgeous journal does not need a ton of ephemera. I love doing stuffed journals and putting in a lot of ephemera, but there's times when just a clean journal like this is, is just as beautiful, if not more so. So here's more of my fly free bird ephemera and she has just some little cardstock and pieces and things all tucked into that pocket. Beautiful coffee dyed pages. I love a good ledger page and she has more than one type. So pretty. There's an occasional um, scrapbook paper put in here. And I actually kind of like how she kept the inside white. That gives you a few surfaces to make your own. So you can add pops of color with colored inks or stickers, or you can keep it vintage and low key by using maybe a vintage photo or even just a, a brown, like uh, the Hobby Lobby brand Stampabilities has a wonderful brown that is really inexpensive and just your favorite stencil. You can kind of choose the direction you want this journal to go because she has lovely colors. 
These colors are incredible. They're beautiful. And pulling out a little bit of this teal, yellow, or pink and stenciling some in could make it really vibrant. Or keeping to the browns would uh, grunge it up even more. Look at how pretty. Here's a little bee charm. It is truly lovely. The quality is, I mean, you couldn't get any better quality than this. But really high quality, like a canvas fabric here on the spine. And when she sewed it in, she's added five holes instead of three. I normally do three because it's easier. The five holes takes longer, but it is also more secure. Um, and so this will last and it will look so pretty up on the shelf with your favorite books. So this is Bird. She always includes a card with a thank you note and a book plate. So I'm not gonna open every card, but each journal does have an envelope with a note from her, as well as a book plate that you can use in this journal or in another one. And I just realized this has a double closure because the elastic, but then she also tied this around it. And of course you can remove it and use it on something else or you could leave it tied. So that is Bird. We're gonna move on to the next one. She's called this one Parchment and Birch. Love the name. So she has done this gorgeous size, which is four and a half by nine. A two inch spine again look at those ridges that might be the top okay this is like a wood grain I didn't notice that look at how pretty so that must be the birch and then we have four signatures 192 pages again this is all handmade papers journal centric and digital Alice Alice parchment and scrap those must be different shops I'm not familiar with them but I can't wait to see. So we have Sari Silk Closure, really long. You can trim it down or chunk up the journal, let this hang. It is so pretty, that color. Oh, no, I did have it right the first time. Okay, this is the front. Look at how pretty. Little dragon bookmark here in the front. Look at the tabs. Isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty. Gorgeous colors. The coffee dyeing is divine. I love the size. I don't know that I, well, I guess it's very similar to a traveler's notebook, a standard traveler's notebook size. It's just in a hardback book. Lots of coffee dyeing. Here's some parchment paper, second signature. This is perfect for a writing journal. A lot of, uh, it's really, it's kind of medieval as well as nature. Kind of a grunge nature it is so pretty there's not a lot of ephemera in this it is very simple but very sweet you can hear my kid in the background making a bunch of noise so she did include in the back um some extra scraps and then a pouch that has a bunch of ephemera pieces that you can use throughout the journal. So I'm just going to slip that back in there. <laughs> He's so loud. It's so funny. He's out there uh, by himself playing and I don't know what he's playing. It sounds happy, but really funny too. And I don't know if it show here, if you can hear it on the video, but I don't want to interrupt him because he's so happy. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Milner's S Sermon. Um, and this is, she did repurpose this book, but look at it. She's um, sealed it. I, so it's falling apart, not falling apart, <laughs> but there's cracks and things in it, but she sealed it so that it's not going to get worse. This is volume two. It was a sermon book. Isn't it gorgeous? But she's 
added those signatures so perfectly. She's used papers from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, Nick the Booksmith, Tim Holtz, and some others. 100, uh, 120 pages, yeah, I already said that. Look at this. Look at just how pretty that is. Oh, it's a cover that definitely needed to be used. Isn't that gorgeous? I think this would be so incredible to actually keep sermon notes in. If you like to listen to uh, sermons or you go to church or something like that, how beautiful would this be to bring along and keep sermon notes in? Of course, you could use it for a prayer journal, a faith journal, or even just a daily like to-do list, gratitude journal. There's so many different things. Look at that music paper. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? And there's an envelope here in the back with ephemera. A whole bunch of beautiful things ready to go. Oh, look at that lace piece. Oh my goodness, you're going to have so much fun decorating this. I finished all my food. You finished your food? Good boy. This is third interruption. <laughs> there's no way of telling when it is a good time to film because they can be quiet and as soon as I turn the camera on they go crazy or they can be crazy and I turn the camera on and they go quiet you never know so this one's called in bloom look at how beautiful papers by nevermore creations that's me um and mrs cox look at how pretty this is so handmade spine it is two and a half inches. Look at the ridges she's painted this. Yeah, I know how these are made. I've made them myself. And it's a lot of work. Six gorgeous signatures. Look at this knob. It has a closure. I'm trying to see if I can... Oh, okay. So how'd she do it? I want to know so I can put it back the right way. Okay. Wow, look at this. Look at how pretty. This is gorgeous. Just the little touches. Look at that paper. Oops. little pocket there's some ephemera coffee dye doily she's used a paper pack called English Rose Garden it is the recollections brand so that would be from Michaels Look at how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this paper. Truly beautiful. I think these are Mrs. Cog's ephemera. She said some of the papers are from me. Either I'm missing it or I haven't seen it yet, which is fine. There's some wine labels. So pretty. Maybe some of the ephemera is mine. <laughs> Don't always know. Pretty this is. Here's a dashboard. You can use this for putting under a page when you're writing to keep it um, flat, to make it a good surface to journal on. This is truly lovely. Lots of coffee dyed papers. There's a book page. So 
So pretty. Here's a pretty envelope, and I believe, oh, a whole bunch of calendar uh, cutouts that you could use. And here is a gorgeous image page. So beautiful. That one is called In Bloom. Next, we have a mini called Encourage Your Hopes. This is a Mrs. Cogs style Gojo journal. She has used ephemera from Mrs. Cogs, Tracy Fox, Pidex, and Nick the Booksmith. Sorry silk closure, it's just wrapped around. Look at the, how she did the eyelets on the back to hold on the sari silk. I love that idea. So it is fabric covered, beautiful image. It says encourage your hopes, not your fears. I love that statement. So it is just the tiniest of tiny sweet journals. I'm just gonna kind of quickly thumb through the pages. There's just a ton of sweetness. Look at this little baby bookmark. Isn't that the cutest thing? This is four and a half by three and a half, but there are so many pages and some gorgeous baby ephemera. <laughs> Look at how sweet. What a wonderful Christmas gift it would make. I think it would be so much fun to put it in your bag, uh, purse and have a real junk journal but on a miniature scale to carry around with you. Next we have a journal called Medieval Scribe. It's a six by eight. She's used papers from Medieval Mirage, Tracy Fox, and Nick the Booksmith. The cover image is Digital Curio. Oh my goodness, yes. If you have not checked out Digital Curio, Definitely check her out on Etsy, one of my all-time favorite shops for papers, clip art, their commercial use allowed, and her eye for design and her inspiration is incredible. This is one of her images. Isn't that beautiful? That one of her papers. All right, so getting into this journal. I love this color of Sari Silk, and there is a key charm. Oh, there's even a little roll-up scroll. I'm not unrolling that. Isn't this beautiful? She may have recover recovered a book. I'm not 100% sure on this one. Unless she said handmade. Nope, it is handmade. Look at how pretty. Isn't this beautiful? There's a bookmark. There's a little um, envelope. Look at these pages. I love this size. And the composition is, look at these papers. Oh my word. Very medieval, which is why it's called Medieval Scribe. Isn't it gorgeous? Wouldn't you just want to write in this journal? <gasps> wow, look at that. She's done stitching on the page with yarn. Wow. Beautiful. So pretty. Love her little cluster with the wooden button. Isn't it gorgeous? And there's another envelope in the back. You get two envelopes. Make sure, okay, get the right closure. Next, we have a five by seven medieval scribe. Um, very similar, yep, to this to the other one. Isn't that pretty? Another key, another scroll. Tie these so well, and I never get them back the same way. I think I need to 
take a class in tying journal closures. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So this one is extremely similar to the other one. It's just a little tiny bit smaller. Instead of six by eight, it's five by seven. So you're shaving an inch off of each, um, both length and width. Isn't it pretty? And just look at that coffee dyeing. I love this. Oh, it looks so old and grunged up and antiqued. So pretty. I know I'm going through it pretty quick. Most of the pages are just gorgeous coffee dyeing. Just want you to get an idea of how beautiful it is. So this scroll goes with this. This closure goes with this. Next, we have another mini from her called Be True. It is another Mrs. Cog's Gojo size journal. Isn't this sweet? Oh, there we go. Fabric covered again. Totally adorable. Four and a half by three and a half with the sweetest little ephemera, the sweetest pages. It's like a true mini junk journal. There's a ton of pages. There's a baby bookmark in this one as well. They're 256 pages. You will look at the tiny little library card. I mean, how sweet would this be to work in? I think it's also perfect if you're new to junk journaling. You have these small little pages that you can design and decorate without feeling like you have to fill up so much real estate. Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. So this one is called Be True. I'm trying to set things over to the side. This one is called Whimsy. It is the four and a half by nine digital kit from a Ephemera's Vintage Garden. It's called Whimsy and Botany. Look at the fabric uh, measuring tape there. Look at how beautiful she made this. And look at this, look at this charm. Oh, little teapot. Oh my word, how sweet is this? Let's get inside it, I can't wait. I know I, I am truly blessed that I am able and allowed to flip through so many hundreds of journals from artists all over the world. You gotta be inspired. I can actually handle them. I don't have to just watch them on a screen. So I know that I am truly blessed. Look at these pages. I mean, there's so many pages. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh. <laughs> Kids being loud again. Isn't that sweet? Love it. Tracing paper. The sweetest. So that one is Whimsy. We have one more journal to look at, and it's called Nostalgia. Isn't that gorgeous? So she's used ephemera from Nick the Booksmith and Graphics Fairy. This is a Nick the Booksmith image here on the front. Look at the wooden buttons. It says Seek. And look at the vintage photo collage on the back. I believe that is also Nick. Well, oh, getting into this. There we go. Beautiful sari silk. Love that white color. We have a bookmark here in the front. There's tabs with little charms. 
Oh, so nice. I just love the feel of a journal like this. Look at this, it is a book locket. You could put a photo in there, but when you close it, it looks like a little vintage book. So sweet. It's a story. gorgeous paper. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the flip through of these journals and that you've been inspired to maybe go outside your comfort zone and try a different style of journal. I know I have been. It's been a while since I've made a journal like this and I'm feeling like maybe trying again. Here's this gorgeous. It has ephemera in it. I know I just don't want to unwrap it. So I hope you've given this video a thumbs up if you liked Carla's work. They're available on my website for purchase. I truly hope that you will buy some of them and check out the journals that are still left from previous videos because they need a home too. So yeah, I just cannot thank you enough, Carla, for your inspiration and thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, for purchasing, for making the marketplace possible. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you all tomorrow.